On Saturday, male and female homosexuals converged on Hyde Park for an open-air rock concert, the climax of Gay Pride Week. Stonewall 79 marked the 10th anniversary of the Stonewall Riot in New York, the first time that homosexuals had fought back against a police attack on one of their clubs. In Britain, Gay Pride Week celebrated 10 years of gay liberation. Adults' male homosexual relations have been legal in Britain for more than 12 years, but homosexuality remains controversial. At the recent trial of Jeremy Thorpe, his homosexual tendencies were said to be a fatal flaw in his character and homosexuals still complain of discrimination. Last Thursday, a Home Office committee provisionally proposed that the age of consent for homosexual males should be lowered from 21 to 18. But the committee's minority report wanted a further reduction to 16, the legal age for heterosexual relationships between men and women. Tonight, World in Action reports on a day of gay pride. Saturday morning, outside the Gays the Word bookshop in central London. A group from the shop is getting ready to lead the afternoon's procession. In the middle, perhaps, if you can Inside, we asked how the homosexual community had changed in the last ten years. Um, well, what has happened has enabled us to uh, form a kind of community, to be evident, to raise our own consciousness, to learn to accept ourselves as, as real people rather than second-rate citizens or whatever cliche that uh, anybody puts on us and um, to be more independent uh, find each other because the homosexual community was always very split separated um, people were terrified of being known to be homosexual by anybody else often by other homosexuals uh, this is slowly fading away it hasn't vanished by any means and i personally think it'll be a long time before it does vanish but i think that is the most significant change I think another thing as well is that's very important is I'm not heterosexual. I don't want to be mistaken for being heterosexual. And to some extent I've been forced to wear badges, particularly, you know, how dare you assume that I'm heterosexual, because I'm not. Perhaps just raised another interesting point about the way homosexuals are treated, is that almost entirely um, we are thought of in terms of sex. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it is really um, bizarre the way, if I am introduced to uh, non-gay men, in certain situations, they know I'm gay, they immediately start thinking I fancy them. Mm. You know, mm. just go straight in on the sexual thing, which is no more important and certainly no less important in a homosexual's life than anybody else. That's quite interesting, actually. Yeah, you know, we're just basically doing boring things like going to work and walking down the street and going to yeah. Sainsbury's, you know, ordinary, everyday, boring things. But you can't do that because you're queer, you see. Queers don't shop in Sainsbury's. 